In this video, we're going to go over notes five, which covers lone pairs. And in organic chemistry, you'll come to learn that in acid-base reactions, in other reactions with these things called nucleophiles, lone pairs will be very important to us um, and in resonance. So we want to be able to look at a line drawing and understand that even though in so far in this class I've had you draw all of your lone pairs because I think it's a good habit to get into, you will encounter problems where the lone pairs aren't given and you're simply going to have to figure it out. So um, a couple things to make sense of. We have uh, carbon, we have nitrogen, we have oxygen, and we have fluorine. And if we find these on the periodic table, carbon is in family 4A, nitrogen is in family 5A, uh, oxygen's in family 6A, and then fluorine is in family 7A. And those, of course, also represent the valence electrons that we have. So carbon has four, nitrogen has five, oxygen has six, and fluorine has seven. And then there's this rule called the octet rule. And it's, it's more of a trend rather than a, a rule that elements have to follow. But what that rule says is that elements, they prefer to be neutral. And to do that, they're going to uh, tend to form the correct number of bonds in order to get eight valence electrons. And so if we notice, I'm gonna erase part of this so I have room to write, uh, the number of bonds, these tend to form, is gonna add up to be Eight. So carbon is going to tend to form four bonds because four valence electrons and then four more electrons from a bond will give us eight valence electrons. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is going to tend to form three bonds because, again, it can get eight uh, valence electrons, oxygen, two bonds, and then fluorine, one bond. And again, that's, that's the octet rule in play. Now, it's a trend, not a, a hard and fast rule. And so what we need to know is that if we are negative, is negative, we have an additional lone pair. And then if our heteroatom is positive, we uh, have one less lone pair, okay? So that's gonna be very important. Now, to go off of this, I wanna focus on just nitrogen and uh, oxygen because those are gonna be ones that we see a lot. Oxygen has six valence electrons. And we said it likes to form two bonds. So what is that going to look like? That's typically going to look like oxygen with a bond and then two lone pairs. And notice that when we count two, four, six, oh, excuse me, uh, each bond is two electrons, so two, four, and then each lone pair, six, eight, okay? Now nitrogen, so oxygen tends to form two bonds and two lone pairs, okay? And that'll get it to eight because lone pairs are two electrons and bonds are two electrons. Okay, now nitrogen Nitrogen has five valence electrons, we've said that, and then three uh, bonds it tends to form. So what does that look like? Nitrogen with three bonds. Well, each bond is two, four, six. We need eight valence electrons, so there's gonna be one lone pair. So nitrogen tends to form three bonds with one lone pair. Okay, so let's put this into action. And I might, it might look like I'm going pretty fast, but you want to get very, very quick at this. Okay. So 
if we see oxygen with a negative charge, we know oxygen is typically going to have two lone pairs, so that negative charge means that we are going to have one extra lone pair. Okay, so these are all examples. Um, here, oxygen is neutral, so two lone pairs, and we expect that oxygen is positive. We expect two lone pairs, but if it's positive, we should only see one lone pair because a positive means that we've lost a pair of electrons. The same thing is going to be true with nitrogen. Nitrogen, a neutral nitrogen, is going to have one lone pair. Okay, that's what we see here. But if it's negative, we're going to add a lone pair. And if it's positive, we're going to remove a lone pair, which would be me, uh, meaning that nitrogen has no lone pairs. Okay, so watch how I can do this pretty quickly. This oxygen is neutral, so it'll have two lone pairs. Neutral, two lone pairs. Neutral, two lone pairs. Neutral, two lone pairs. Neutral, two lone pairs. And I normally like them on the same side. I wasn't able to do that there. Neutral, two lone pairs. Now, negative means we've gained a lone pair, so it normally has two. Now it's going to have three. Negative, it normally has two. Now it'll have three. Neutral will be two. Positive, it normally has two. Now it'll only have one for the ones that are positive. So notice how there's a very nice trend here that you can go really pretty quickly to get this. So oxygen, two lone pairs there. Nitrogen normally has uh, one lone pair. So if it's neutral, it'll have one lone pair. And if it's positive, it will lose that one lone pair, so it'll have no lone pairs. Negative means it'll have one more. Neutral, none. And then here, neutral, so that'll have one. And then this guy has no lone pairs.